It's Junkman, VintageRock.com here at NAMM 2015. Uh, I am speaking with another legend. We keep finding legends, man. Where? Everywhere. In the Ludwig booth, you find them all over the place. Producer, actor, comedian, Song, everything else, all the songwriter, all the above, Mr. Mark Hudson. How are you? I'm doing good, brother. How are you? I'm doing good. Not as colorful as you today. I'm, lo I'm loving the, the ensemble. I'm having sort of a Barney moment. <laughs> what can I say? Well, you love us, and we love you. I, you know? Of course I do. <laughs> Anytime you need me, you got me. I mean, this this whole convention yep. is very strange to me, because all I see is mullets, a Skullets. low a low tooth count, right, and people that shouldn't be wearing leather. Oh yeah, exactly. Wow, it's been written about too, man. It's just, yeah, you know, but you know what, lady? There's no reason why you could squeeze that much into those pair of pants either. Yeah, you but know? you know what? When you have this, the common denominator, in fact, is the music. Of course, and, and it's that's, a brotherhood. That's the blessing. It really is a brotherhood. Truly, really it is, man. Now, production-wise, man, you've done so much lately, man. Yeah. I mean, what are you? What's your? What's your current project that you're working on? I'm actually working with Steven Tyler. Wow. We're doing uh, over Christmas. I was in Boston, and we were doing a little, and it's always it's always kind of secretive uh -huh. until he a super number, super number, and then right. it comes out. <laughs> Famous for a lot of work that you've done with Ringo. How many of yeah. Ringo's records have you eight, done now? Eight, eight albums. Yeah. Eight albums in a row. And you know it's weird. I have worked with every great drummer on the planet. Okay. Vinny Caliuta. Right. Greg Bissonette. Ringo Starr is the great greatest rock drummer yep. that I have ever heard. And yeah, I can he's tell right you, in the pocket. I'll tell you why. Why? He plays the song, and that's what the difference is. Other guys are grooving and paradiddling. Ringo, Ringo Starr plays the song. And my friend, Alan White. Right. Right who, in the, Mr. Who, Meter. Mr. Me and played on Imagine. And yep. maybe the single best drum fill in the history of drumming, the second verse of Instant Karma. Absolutely. One the world you're thinking of. <laughs> Every time I'm, I'm with him, I make him play it. Really? Yeah, he gets pissed off at Just me. Just do it one more time. I, I do it every time. <laughs> no matter what. Anyway, I went too. R R Ringo knows when not to do a fill and knows when to do a fill. Plus, he leads with his right hand even though he's a left-handed drummer. Yeah, that's that, what a lot that, of people don't know. Yeah, but, but that's why it's so dynamic. Yep. Because as opposed to the right hand, he comes on with the left, and his drum fills are different than anybody else. Yeah, exactly. I, I loved every, every record I did with him. I learned something. Exactly. Well, and yeah. it's weird because I was playing bass on the record, even though I'm a drummer. And I would turn around and look at him, and I had to be groovy because I was the producer. Like, right. Ringo, do it like this. But when I would turn around, I'd go, I'm with the Beatle. He's playing the drums. And then I'd come back. You have to. It was, I, 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 I suffered from HP, homosexual panic. I just saw him, and I became a Beatle fan. A freak. I know, I'm sorry. I apologize. No, to everyone. not at all. Not at all. That's a great. You know, that's a great analogy right there. It's it's perfect. You know. Yeah. We're all Beatle fans. You know, we all get giddy when when we're on it. You actually get to work with them. You know. Well, so. you know, that's what we're doing. You know, after working with a Beatle, Ozzy Osbourne, the Prince yep. of Darkness, he's right. the Beatles to heavy metal. Right. And then Aerosmith, America's greatest rock band. I mean, I even worked with Hanson. You know. Before their nards dropped. Right. And before they became, yeah, a couple yeah. of octaves lower. Well, now they suffer from bag drag. It's the whole thing. <laughs> They're grown up. I am sorry again. I... No, it's all right. You started out in your career as a comedian. Every Saturday morning, I used to watch the Hudson yep. Brothers show. You know how many now, people Now, if you here? guys watch the Hudson Brothers show when you were kids, like me, I look forward to it every day. You and your brothers. Mm -hmm. And now, you told me a story at Beetlefest yeah. about how that all started. It was uh, like it, it was, just a stroke of luck. We were signed to Elton John's label, and we were a rock band. Right. At a party, and this guy sits down, and we just were being what we were being, and he thought we were funny. He goes, are you guys comedians? He said, no, we're in a rock band. He goes, come down to CBS. I produce Sonny and Cher. I want you guys for a TV show. We knew nothing. Right. So we, we only had one suit. So one brother wore the pants, one had the suit, one had the vest. The white, white. Right? It, it was yeah. scary, yeah, it was frightening. <laughs> but fun, but a lot of fun. I'll never forget the introduction with the, with the truck that rolled Yeah, it rolled around, around. we fell out of the truck. Yep, yep. And he had a lot of the same people. They had Murray Langston and all, all those other the, people. All the Sonny and Cher guys. Wow. So all cool. of them were there, man. Even the great. voiceover guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Peter, Peter Cullen. He did all the voiceover work. Yeah, that lasted for about two years or so? Three. Three? Yeah. Three years. And then and how did you get into production after that? Well, I mean, I was already producing Hudson Brothers stuff, and then I was trained by Phil Ramone, like 
the Phil Ramone right. for three years. Mr. Mr. Vocal Man himself. The Pope of Pop. And he taught me everything I know. Wow. And then finally he was producing Ringo and I was under him. And then Ringo asked me a question and Phil said, you're ready to go. No kidding. And he, I, I, didn't like want, that. I didn't want to. Wow. No, don't get rid of me, I'm scared. And that was the beginning of me being thrown out to, wow. to have a career. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> I've led a beautiful life. You know, if I Absolutely. Back it, it's been, I'm kind of like Zelig yeah. and Willy Wonka. But again, you're following all your interests, all the things that you're good at, or are you getting paid for? It's great. I'm, I'm, feel, I'm only following my heart. But I just got to work with your family at one time. Absolutely. You know? I can't spell. I'm bad at math. I'm a good kisser, and it's downhill after that. But when it comes to music, don't, don't mess with a king. Yeah. And boy, does he know his colors, too, as well. Mike, I'm, I'm color coordinated. That's it. Absolutely, dude. Great, well, man. Again, I appreciate everything that you do. Nice what, to see what's you What's he got again. going on for 2015? Well, I mean, I'm, Besides I'm, the, uh, I'm, I'm doing Steve a thing with Tyler. Steven right now. And then I have this new artist named Mason Pace. Mason He's Pace. like a 14-year-old kid that looks like a cross between Robert Plant and Leonardo Cappuccino. Wow. And he plays guitar. And he's young. I'm just waiting for his nards to drop so yeah, that they're going to drop a little bit. Oh yeah, they will. Well, you can do things now with Pro Tools. It's, yeah, but it's right? better just get, to get divorced because they take them off. Yeah, clip them. They got to get them when they're oh, nice and low. I, I only have one left. <laughs> I lost the first one in my divorce. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Mark Hudson from uh, VintageRock.com 2015 at the NAMM show. And again, man, Peace, I'm telling you. love, and I'll see you around when you bend over. <laughs> See you, Good to see you, dude. Will you pose for a picture with yeah, us real sure. quick, too? We're done, so.